as a bartender, especially if you're working in a place that has a you know, decent amount of volume in terms of guests, you tend to make the same drinks over and over again, especially if they're on a menu, right? And for me, it's how can I keep it exciting for me and how can I change it so if those guests come back, making it different. And the easiest way to do that is to take an existing drink and to infuse the spirit that you usually use with a different flavor. So I'm gonna make a drink that I call the Sage Heaven. It's a drink that I make with ginger that I love. It has raspberries and sage in it. And it's a really, really wonderful kind of layered drink. But I'm going to use a cactus infused tequila. Now this was originally made with gin. It's great with bourbon. It's great with tequila. But I started making it with a cactus infused tequila. And this is a, the infusion is actually on the site here. We have a video on that. But I just wanted to show you so you could see this. This is, this is um, the actual cactus that is grown from the, where the, cact, you know, the actual cactus fruit, the prickly pears. These are the actual leaves from that tree or bush, whatever you want to call it. And I just infuse it for, for 10 days and then I, I strain it into this bottle. So um, we're going to make that and we're going to use that. So we start with fresh raspberries. So I've got these red raspberries. You can use yellow raspberries, orange raspberries. We're going to put about six raspberries in there. Now this drink is called Sage Heaven for a reason because even though I've got the cactus and I've got raspberries and I'm going to have ginger, it really is the sage that's the star. It's the sage that really is kind of the cherry on the top. When you're, when you're taking that sip, it's that wonderful flavor that hits you after you've hit everything else. So um, you can use all kinds of sage, any sage that you get in a supermarket, farmer's market, the ones with the long leaves. Believe it or not, there's over 200 actual varieties of sage. So um, although they are very similar in flavor profiles, there are distinct differences between them. But I'm going to use, this is a wild purple sage that I've dried. And I'm going to cut these bulbs. I'm going to probably cut about, maybe about three or four bulbs. And this is really important because, like I said, the sage. So for you at home, I would take about three or four sage leaves. I think that would be great. And then we're going to put three quarter ounce of an agave syrup. This is a one to one ratio of agave nectar to water. And then fresh lime juice that I've previously squeezed with my juicer. I'm going to do three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. And then we're going to use ginger juice. Okay, I love using ginger. It's a great spice in this circumstance. Um, this is ginger juice that I got just someone juiced at Whole Foods for me. You can get it at a supermarket. You, a lot of, there's a lot of juice bars that will do it for you. I think it's like a dollar an ounce typically. And um, now they even have ginger in little bottles that's pre-made. That's really, really strong, but it's really, really powerful. So we're just going to put an eighth of an ounce in there. And then we're going to muddle that up. I've got this OXO um, muddler with these teeth. What I'm really trying to muddle really well is the sage. I'm really trying to release the flavor of the sage because, like I said, that really is the star of this. So listen, if you don't have raspberries, strawberries will work. If you want to use grapes, that will work too. But the component is really that fruit, that sage, and that ginger there. And then we're going to put two ounces of the cactus or the Nopales infused tequila. And I do have a video on the site on specifically how to make this too. I'm going to use a big cube. So let's get this in place here. I like to use a knife that I, that's not really that sharp. It's not really an expensive knife. It's just something that I'm using. Listen, an ice block would be great too, a nice kind of chipper, which you can get that on uh, Cocktail Kingdom as well. And then we'll take some other regular chipped ice here and we'll shake with it. So we'll give that a good shake. Now, it is important to double strain this drink, meaning I'm going to use a, a Hawthorne strainer plus this tea strainer. A fruit like raspberries has a tremendous amount of seeds in it. And you're going to see when I strain this, 
it's not the end of the world if you can't double strain it, but you're going to see how much, how, look at that, I'm not even done yet, how many particles and seeds stays in there. And that can make your drink a little crunchy, you know, kind of an unnecessary crunch. Got this beautiful color. And what I love doing as well when I'm garnishing things too is I, I know what the flavor of this tastes like. But sometimes I, would, I want to have a different scent on the top of the drink. So I want someone to smell one thing but taste another. And a great way of doing that is to use a different herb as a garnish that's not in the drink. And I've got this really nice Greek oregano. There's so many different kinds of oreganos too, but this is a really nice garnishing oregano. You can almost see the flowers coming in there, which are gorgeous. And then because we have this red, I love taking blackberries. I'll use sometimes up to a you know, half to a third of a pint. And I love just stuffing. This is a perfect example of not only color, but of I want to eat those raspberries or these blackberries afterwards. And this is a this is be a great time, if you can, to order or get one of these kind of straws that have a spoon on it. So these are great. You can wash these in the dishwasher. You can get them on Cocktail Kingdom, Amazon. What I like about them is it's a way of drinking the drink um, that you can really slurp on it. But then you have this spoon to eat the blackberries at the end. So let's give that a taste. Mm. Mm. Like I said, the sage is the star of this. I know there's a lot going on. The berries are great and they, they bring that tartness to it and you taste that cactus kind of vegetal. But what happens is at that end, after the ginger comes in, the sage kind of grabs you and it's, it's really, really uh, amazing. I love it. Mm. Have fun with it, enjoy it. Um, again, if you don't have oregano, you want to use another herb, that's fine. You could actually take, if you have a whole sage sprig, you could put that in there. So let's make, let's eat the berries up. Mm. When you have a sweet blackberry on top, it really goes well with, uh, against that ginger, you know? So, cheers. Oh, have fun.